Well, thanks for clicking on to a special Hurricane Ian update. This is a video taken by somebody in six feet of storm surge. Hurricane Ian is, as I speak, coming ashore on the west coast of Florida, somewhere just to the north of Fort Myers in Florida. So maximum sustained winds of 155 miles per hour, the central pressure at 937 millibars. It is a remarkable system. It is a very, very dangerous system indeed. And it looks as if um, this is going to be the real deal in terms of the type of damage that we see from this system. This is a, a tweet by um, our good friend David Birch. And it looks at the, um, the storm surge uh, potential on this region where the, the system is making landfall. And we've got plenty of reds. Which I know it's not a very very good image. It's 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 quite small to see, but basically we've got a broad area where we have storm surge, uh, a rise in sea level of over nine feet, and of course storm surge is the biggest killer in a hurricane. But one hundred and fifty five miles per hour, one mile per hour shy of category five status. And um, we are going to be seeing hurricane force winds in a broad area. We've got tropical storm force winds that extend all the way to Miami and the southeast portion of Florida. We've seen these kind of conditions, uh, 50, 60, 70 mile per hour, battering parts of Miami in the south of Florida. That's 140 to 150 miles away from the center of this system. And, you know... When I was watching the videos earlier on, live streams and whatnot, basically when the system was generating 50 mile an hour winds, a good 150 miles uh, away from the center of this system, the system itself was only a, a category three storm. Now it's borderline cat four, cat five, and it is now coming ashore as I speak. This is going to be a major impact on not just you know the Fort Myers area and ex the, the immediate area that, that the system is making landfall. This is going to be a, a widespread damaging event that will rewrite history. And um, you know it is, it is a, a very devastating system indeed. This is a live uh, radar loop showing the eye wall itself with this ring of deep convective thunderstorms circling the, 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 the system itself. Uh, you know, a very, very um, potent, uh, thick layer of convection all the way around this circulation. And as it comes ashore, this shows you the sheer power of this storm. The strongest winds, probably about maybe 15 to 20 miles around the eye itself, within the eye wall. And that is where we're seeing tremendous thunderstorm activity, indicating the sheer power of this system itself. And as that eye wall hits shore, we're seeing those devastating winds in excess of 155 miles per hour. So sustained winds, 155, we're probably talking about uh, wind gusts, uh, you know, 170 to 190 miles per hour, believe it or not. And even within the outer bands, you know, nearly 200 miles away from the, the center of this, this system, we're seeing uh, damaging wind gusts, very heavy rainfall. But as well as that, we're seeing little spins rotation within these outer bands that are producing tornadoes. And we've had reports of tornadic activity well away from the center within the outer the outer bands of this circulation so this is a major major event for people in florida and as you can see here off the modeling uh, the models are all indicating a high-end category four doesn't quite reach category five status if you notice and then of course as the system makes a landfall in florida makes a beeline towards Orlando 
and then up towards Jacksonville, Florida. Eventually, it will start to slow down because we've got a trough to the north. But interestingly enough, there was indications in modeling earlier on that we would start to see wind shear increasing from the southwest, and that would have an impact on the system itself. We would start to see Ian ingest dry air off the continental US and, and wrap around the system and that has a, a weakening effect on the storm. But it looks as if, based on what I'm seeing, that has not had that negative impact on the system. We've continued to see it strengthen and now it's hitting full force at full peak intensity in the Florida here. This is a major like I say, a major, major event indeed in um, in Florida. Now, this is a, a representation of the lightning detected around the eye itself, within the eye wall. And when you've got almost constant lightning being detected within the eye wall, it indicates the strength, the power, the health of this hurricane here as it makes landfall. And you can see... It is literally peaking in intensity as the eastern eye wall makes a landfall in Florida here. And over the next several hours, this is going to be a huge deal, a major, major disrupt, disruptive system for the folks of Florida here, unfortunately. So this is the, the stats. It's moving at 9 miles per hour, north-northeast direction, pressure at 937 millibars, and maximum sustained winds. Of 155 miles an hour like I say one mile per hour off category 5 status here and it is located 50 miles south southwest of Punta Gorda in Florida here so that's it really all I can say at the moment here let's pray for the people of Florida this is going to be a, a rough ride over the next 12 to 24 hours that's for sure so thanks for watching do please like share and subscribe and I'll have another update come tomorrow. Bye for now.